I, I actually had uh, my left leg casted this morning. And uh, I'm going to stand on a prosthetic. Uh, so tomorrow's going to be the first day I stand since the blast. Doing pretty good. I mean, what was it? Yesterday marked the two-month point since my, I got injured. So, um, I mean, from what the staff says and everything, I'm, I'm ahead of the game. I mean, most uh, there's people that's been here seven months due to, like, infection. Infection runs rampant. And then um, there's a thing called HO that uh, really hurts the wounded warriors here. And that's uh, the overgrowth, overgrowth of, like, calcium. And it'll branch off your bone. So it's, it hurts a lot, of, a lot of wounded warriors here. So, I mean, I, I've been blessed with not having that. Um, I did have infection in my one leg, but they had to take a little bit of bone off. But so far, so good. There's actually a building right across the street where it, it houses, it's called Building 62. It houses uh, most, if not all, the wounded warriors that come through that want to stay on the east side or the east coast. I'm excited to stay here and finally get out of a... Uh, of this uh, hospital room and go down to that apartment that they have for us. The PT schedule that I have is pretty pretty tough. I mean, five days a week I have PT and OT. So I mean, both of those an hour each at a time. Besides that, they they have uh, classes for me. So like when I reintegrate back into the civilian world or. If I go on to a career still in the Marine Corps, they uh, give us classes over that and everything, and they they don't leave us hanging. You know, they don't just once you're discharged from the hospital, you're you know, here's the bus ticket home. They don't do that. They, you know, have classes. They reintegrate you. You know, they teach you to walk again. It's just it's good. Thankful for for all that and just. The outreach that everybody has showed, I mean, just the support in general is great that I've seen. I mean, the one benefit that was in uh, Long Shots, they won Long Shots in uh, Rock Falls. They had a benefit for me, actually. Skyped with some friends and family during that benefit and stuff. So, I don't know. It's just been, it's been great. He presented me with the Purple Heart, and uh, I actually got to meet him twice. Once he he did with the, came in with the Purple Heart and presented it to me, which I, I can only remember, you know, it's kind of fuzzy remembering it because they had me on a lot of drugs. Um, the second time he actually came in, and um, he he brought my daughter in. He had her, he had her in his arms, and... Uh, he uh, he came in and woke me up because I was taking a nap and woke me up and that was pretty funny to wake up to. Just the commandant right there, the head of all the Marines. And he, he's right there, you know, with my daughter. So that was, that was pretty good. I remember the whole thing, you know. It's crazy. I like just... The way, I mean, they reacted, how they reacted. My Marines and my corpsmen, the corpsmen are medics. Marines don't have medics. They have corpsmen, which are actually part of the Navy. And um, my corpsmen was great. And just how they reacted, how fast they got me, got the tourniquets on my legs to make sure I didn't bleed out. And, you know, just how they reacted. Um, the speed and intensity and just, I don't know, they were just, they were great. They, they knew what to do when it happened. So it's just, and that's why I'm here today. It was because of the Marines, like, like me, like the people up here on the board that did their job, did what they had to. And, you know, they unfortunately paid for it, but most of the time, well, I have a, 
you know, happy or outlook, good outlook on everything, a positive outlook, I guess, for the most part. I mean, everybody has their days, but, you know, it's just how you take it, I guess. Just remember where you came from, all your family, your friends, the community. I mean, I, I loved growing up in Dixon. Yeah, it was a small town, but compared to other places I've been, but just it's that and it's never as bad as it seems. You know, it could always be worse. Trust me, I thought being deployed was bad and until I came here. And I mean, it, a lot of people that come here do not, don't have a good outlook. You know, they're, you know, double amps like me or they can either be triple amps, you know. So they, they usually come in with a kind of bad outlook and just just remember it gets better no matter what it can it'll get better